Okay, uh, back after eating and stuff, um, for what, uh, right, I had, uh, gotten, okay, yeah, I remember what happened, uh, going in to fight the dinosaurs or whatever. There's no way to open that, I guess. Yeah, so I guess uh, I finished uh, talking about kind of Elden Ring. Uh, yeah, it looks. I don't know. It should be. I don't know. I'm hopeful, anyways. So, uh, let's see. What are the other releases next year? Um, or this year now, I guess. Uh, there was Elden Ring. Elden Ring and Warhammer Three are like kind of the the big ones that have the release date, and that's. A bit more than a month from now, so that's pretty close. Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, of course, I talked about that. Uh, that should hopefully be good. Um, uh, there was a Kirby game that I don't know if it was... Uh, Plan to come out this year, or I know it was recently announced or whatever, but uh, I, I guess maybe it'll come out this year. Uh, it, um, and yeah, it's gonna be an open world Kirby game, which should be interesting. I guess. Uh, Uh, yeah, an open world Kirby game that would that would suit pretty good because you know he's got all the different abilities you could go around getting and open up different places in the world and stuff. Do I? Yeah, I can't. Uh... Alright, uh, he's gonna open that other dinosaur skull, I bet. Yeah, so an open world Kirby game would be pretty good. Uh, I've played a couple of the Kirby games. Um... Oh. Okay. Uh, like the the Super Nintendo one, um, I remember it was pretty good. I never, I didn't own it as a kid, but uh, I did rent it a couple times, and then I've since like emulated it and played through it a bunch and stuff. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I played through. Let's see, one of the. Uh, 
Right, that is kind of the one annoyance with the uh, Berserk, is I can't target... I'm fine with her fighting every time, but I can't uh, tell her to target like the individual enemies. Uh, so she goes and she hits the group who uh, Chrono can just cyclone them. Which kind of wastes it, but uh, I think it's still worth it. Yeah, I've played some of the Kirby's. Uh, there was a one on the 3DS I didn't really like. I think it was the 3DS, but it, yeah, it was that bad or the Wii U one? I I don't quite remember, but uh, or the Wii one maybe. Uh, one of those ones. Uh, it was just insanely easy. Uh, I think it was the Wii one actually. Yeah, it was it was just so ridiculously easy. Like you don't even have to be awake playing it. You're like, I was literally trying not to fall asleep while playing. Uh, it's just so incredibly easy, and uh, I, I know some of the other Kirby games have kind of been like that too, so... Yeah, I would hope that if it's open world, even if it's not difficult, if it's still easy, there'll at least be the value in, like, exploring and stuff, even if it's easy exploring. Uh, plus, Kirby's, you know, ability to fly and stuff, that, that could be interesting in an open world game. Uh, then there's uh, a Sonic game. Uh, it was just, it was announced, apparently it's been delayed, so I don't know if it's gonna come out. Uh, this year or not, but, uh, and apparently they called it, like, not open world, but open zone, so I think that makes me think it's kind of like, uh, Mario 64, maybe, or, like, uh, Odyssey, where you still got levels, but within the levels you can, oh right, uh, these guys are weak against lightning, yeah. uh, but within the levels you can kind of go where you want and stuff. Which, that'd, that'd be cool. I like that kind of uh, gameplay structure a lot. That's where the uh, Luba villagers were kept. So I just gotta go through uh, back up here. And I guess I go left instead. That's kind of it for games uh, I know of that I'm excited for this year. Um, like I'd mentioned, well, there was, yeah, Metroid Dread came out. Uh, Metroid Prime 4 is, I guess, maybe coming out this year. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, I I didn't care for one, and uh, so I'm not care. I'm not really that interested in it. Uh, maybe it'll be good, but. Uh, I guess I'll see. Uh, there are... Okay, uh, there are other games I'm like... 
you know, planning to play this year, but uh, even though they're not going to be released, um, or not uh, newly released or anything like that, but uh, I've got the Spelunker uh, game from uh, Strictly Limited Games. I've got it pre-ordered. Uh, they seem to have, you know, pushed it back a couple of times. Uh, the the standard edition is supposed to be shipping in January, uh, but I ordered the special edition, and that is uh, just listed as uh, quarter one. So I guess I'll see when. What? Hey, did I did I? Okay, I don't. No, I, I don't get what is happening there at all. I'm not falling because I'm on the same floor. I'm just like teleporting or something. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, the Splunker game. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, Splunker Party was like one of the first games I got on my Switch. I had uh, played the demo when I first got my Switch and had like nothing to play. Uh, and I loved it and I uh, imported it. Uh, because at the time it was only available uh, in Japan. Alright, so what's... Okay, so it's not... It's not like I'm... Okay, yeah, I I don't get what's going on there at all. Got to go from down here, I guess. Up here. No? Okay, I... I don't get what's going on. Uh, now, I assume... Uh, I assume this is emulating it correctly, and it's not like uh, there's some... Yeah, like I'm using SNES 9X, which is a pretty accurate emulator, and I've never noticed any problems before. Um, ooh, that was, uh, oh well, he was already full health, so it didn't matter that I healed him, uh, assuming they can't go above full or anything. Uh, like, I have noticed problems on you know, some emulators sometimes where the, uh, you know, certain layers may not show correctly or whatever, and so you you know, you're walking into something on a layer that just isn't being drawn. Uh, so I... But I don't think that's what's happening there. I don't know. I'll... I'll have to look that up after to see what is going on there. Why I couldn't get over those chests. So, uh, after Splunker, um, I guess other games I'm intending to play this year, even though they're, you know, various ages, um, and already out, and in many cases already have them, uh, I want to do Fantasy Star 4. I've done 1 to 3 now, uh, so yeah, that would be, you know, do, doing 4 and kind of wrapping it up would be good. And I've heard many people think that that is the best one, so... Like, that one seems to be kind of, uh, pretty unanimous, unanimously thought to be the best, so that should be pretty good. Uh, cause you know, the... 
The opinion on the other three seems to be kind of mixed. Some people don't like three at all because it's really different. Uh, some people don't like, you know, I didn't like two. Uh, some people think one is very, uh, you know, kind of uh, what, old and archaic, but I don't know, I liked it, so. With that, nope, okay. Uh, I had thought maybe that had opened the gate that was over there. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to four. Uh, I'll play. I'll hopefully play that sometime this year. Uh, I've got a bunch of VR games I want to play. Um, like I have played a bit of Resident Evil Seven, and I'm pretty sure I talked about that. But yeah, it was just I don't know. It's too tense. It's it's non-stop, 100% tension, and it's just exhausting to play through. So. I don't know. I, I may end up getting the non-VR version sometime and just playing through that because it's just it's way too tense in VR. But it's like uh, in a horror movie when they're you know they're creeping through the the bad guy's house or whatever, and there's dead bodies and stuff everywhere, and you know you, they can hear the bad guy you know rustling around somewhere and then they turn a corner and like something falls right in front of them and they scream but it's just like a corpse or something uh and then you know they go along and there's more you know creepy things popping out and that's just the entire game so far i've played a couple hours and it's just non-stop one like 100 percent tension and it's just it's just exhausting to play Oh, I see. They, uh... When they get hit, they do an attack, so those guys lightly hit them in order to force the attack. Ah, uh, no. I was gonna lightning everyone, but then I remembered uh, these guys actually uh, heal from it. Uh, but I do have, like, I've got the Star Wars, Psychonauts, and Iron Man VR games, so I'm gonna... Hopefully, play through them a bit sometime. Uh, then I've got the. Uh, what else? I've got a whole pile of, uh, like I mentioned before, the uh, dungeon crawlers. I'm gonna eat a couple of them. Uh, Mary Skelter, Manu. Uh, maybe like the Monster Girl, Monster. Uh, Moy Moiro Crystal. Then I also, I got the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity uh, for Christmas, so I want to play through it a bit. I was somewhat torn on, uh, I didn't, like, I didn't really care which one I got, the, whether it was Age of Calamity or Definitive Edition of the original, but uh, it looks like Age of Calamity has Japanese voices and text and stuff. Whereas the Definitive Edition doesn't, I would have to import it to get them, so... Oh. So I figure I'll play the uh, Age of Calamity, and then if I really like it, I'll uh, maybe import the the other one. Uh, can just go around him? Oh, I gotta fight this guy. Oh, okay. No, I really don't have to fight this guy. Okay. Oh, just kidding. Actually, I could see Isla becoming a huge detriment in certain battles. Like if she's, if there's somebody who's gonna do a powerful counterattack or something every time he gets hit, then she's just gonna keep hitting him and uh, cause all kinds of 
trouble. Yeah, so I'll... I, I don't know if you can change items during battle. So those are like most of the games I'm planning to play this year. Uh, although of course there's going to be, I don't know, probably a whole bunch of others, hopefully. Um, I want to play a bunch more like NES and Super Nintendo games. I, I played a lot of any NES games last year, but uh, not so many Super Nintendo games. Even though it is like my favorite console. Uh, so I watched, uh, I don't know, relating to games, I watched the uh, movie 8-Bit Christmas uh, just a couple days ago. I guess it was just before Christmas I watched it, um, forgot to mention it. Uh, it was really good. Uh, it was... Uh, it takes place in like the late 80s, uh, just a, I guess a year or two after the NES uh, was released. Uh, there's a, uh, I know it's really good, but uh, there, it's kind of like a retelling of uh, a Christmas story, but uh, the main kid, he wants uh, an NES. Uh, and his parents are all like, no, you're, you know, you're not getting one, it'll rot your brain and stuff. Uh, so he goes on like this adventure and stuff, and uh, he's got all these schemes to try and like, you know, convince his parents to get it for him and all that. Uh, yeah, the late '80s is—I don't know—it's a bit, a bit earlier than me, but uh, it was still—I don't know—it still reminded me a lot of when I was a kid. The same kind of, uh, you know, it wasn't that much different. But it was, uh, I don't know, it was neat to see them, you know, going to the toy store and stuff like that. Uh, and there was also, you know, there was the, the friend kid who was uh, super rich and had, like, all the games and all the accessories and stuff. Like, he had a power glove and... Yeah, I'm sure, I don't know, a lot of kids remember back then, or a lot of people my age remember back then, there was always, like, the guy with, uh, you know, the rich parents who just bought him whatever they wanted, and he had, like, every console and every game and all the accessories and stuff. Uh, so what have we got here? Text. Okay. Hmm, I wonder... Chrono... Oh, I guess, no, he won't be able to use those. Because Isla will attack as soon as her turn comes, so I won't be able to uh, do her combo ones. Yeah, so he goes through and he you know, does all this stuff to try and get an NES. It was, uh, I don't know, it was very nostalgic. Um, kind of reminds me of the game, the VR games, uh, 
Pixel Rift, uh, 1995 and 1989. Although I haven't played 89 yet, but I'm partway through uh, the 95. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a... Uh, I should have used lightning. Uh, it kind of takes place in like the 90s and, you know, the kid is... He wants the new, um, you know, 16-bit uh, game system and stuff. What, what can he do? Uh, him and Marl don't have much that they can do together. Yeah, those are some other games I hope I will uh, finish this year. Seem to be a lot of encounters in this area. This one. I might as well use a shelter. gonna overwhelm this. Kinda weird that they put the save point there instead of like outside here, but oh well. Kind of reminds me of uh, Live Alive. It's got like the caveman time where you, uh, the dinosaurs are fighting the cave people and stuff, uh, and all the different uh, time zones or time periods. Which th that is a really good game uh, for anybody who likes, you know, 16-bit JRPGs. Live Alive is probably my favorite. Okay, then.
I'm not sure what hit the dinosaur there. Uh, it looks like he took very little damage. I think I may be supposed to beat the little guy. I don't know if I'm even supposed to hit the big guy yet. Like maybe that'll just break him free or enrage him or something. That was strange. Uh, okay. Uh, I wondered why he took some damage there at the very beginning of the fight, but uh, that was uh, Isla hitting him. This is a strange fight. I don't know why the big dino isn't doing like hardly any damage to us. That uh, thing where you bit Marl, it you know it didn't do that much damage for like uh... oh he's gone okay hmm. can't hit anywhere else. I don't get what's happening. Uh, oh, removes defense and is storing power. Okay. Now I can uh, actually hurt him. Yeah, I had wondered, like, what is going on? Because nothing was really hurting him. heal everyone up just to you know, top everyone off. Now I'm curious if uh, 
If his countdown, is that being caused by me hitting him? Or is this actually like a race against time? Like, do I have to just do damage to him enough uh, before he does whatever he's gonna do? Looks like it's wore off. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. I guess because she has Berserk, uh, it only applies one uh, visual effect at a time. enough that he could always use Aura Whirl. kill us. That's kind of the important part. Should be dead soon. color. I don't know, it's it's very gradual if it is. I don't know if he's more yellow than he was at the start. Oh good, he's dead. And throw him off the bridge now. Oh, Lavos is the red star, is he?
before we leave this place, I kind of want to kind of want to go north a little bit in there and see what's in that tower. Uh, well, I guess I'm not getting back in that tower now. Must be all the dinosaurs screaming, I guess. Uh, so what we need to do is get a, uh, I don't know, build a rocket with some nukes on it in the future area, era, and then bring it back and use it to deflect Lavos so that he doesn't hit the earth. We're not getting in. Oh. Oh, it's a gate. Uh. No. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're not, uh, I don't think we're supposed to go fight Lavos yet. Unless they mean, like, unless that's just a gate and it just takes me to, you know, wherever and I can, uh, well, I don't know where else I'd go. Um, stop in and see everyone at least. I thought maybe uh, Kino would be in there, but oh, maybe, uh, maybe this place has something now. Yeah, maybe uh, Sunkeep could be something in here now. Nope. I guess I've got to just go in here. Um, hoping this isn't Lavo's fight, because I know you can you can go fight him earlier, like at the uh, in the bucket at the end of time. I never got to this era. I didn't know that there was a whatever era this is. Cool. I want to see that. Um, it is nice that there's no battles on the overworld map. Where a lot of games they would have just like random encounters and you'd just be uh, kind of annoyed getting in fights every 10 steps. Uh, okay, I... I can't tell what's a... 
what's a entrance and what's not. Uh, I guess I came from there, so. should have gone in here. Oh. Yeah, so this is exciting now because this is all new to me. And... Yeah, like I've never seen like any of this. Um, so that's where I came from. Yeah, and Chrono Trigger isn't as... Yeah, like I, like I said before, it's not as, like, wildly spoiled. Like, I don't... You know, I don't know how many errors there are. Maybe there's other characters that I haven't seen yet. got magic, they're humans. So I think this is, this must be after the uh, Isla's era, but still before, um, like, uh, the 680 or whatever. This is something like, you know, 2000 BC or something. So the elemental weapons are sealed there. Uh, I'm guessing I need them to beat Lavos, and there's probably going to be one for each character. I'm betting there'll be what, a lightning sword for Chrono, a water bow for Marl, shadow fists or whatever for Robo, and uh, it's a fire gun for Luca. Yeah, Isla doesn't have an element, and Frog's got Masamune, so I'm guessing that's what it's gonna be. I can sell some armor anyways. Kid Magus. Okay, I bet that's Kid Magus, and this is where he's from. Kajar when you start a match. Oh, okay, I get an airship there. Alright, um. There's information in there, but that's about it.
Oh, uh, okay, land bridge. So it's a bridge to the land. Wait, they said the Western Continent. Do they mean um, in the sky or? Right, I don't, I don't see any opening in there, but. All right, so I gotta, I guess, keep bouncing back and forth to travel. Uh, it'd be cool if once you get the airship, if you can take it to any time zone, or time, uh, any age. Kajar. Blackbird. Rainbow Shell. I remember that. That was from the 600 uh, AD, I believe. Sunstone. Where was that from? Ah, uh, the Sun Deep. I bet that's where it is. Wait, elemental power usage is strictly forbidden, so. This must be, I guess, slightly after the... Interesting. I... yeah, this is getting really interesting now. Hello? Uh... Oh, it's this guy. Uh, okay. Okay, so the queen is underwater in her palace. Uh, uh, these people have magic. Um, I'm guessing maybe Marl, Luca, Chrono, and so on are descendants of these people. Belthasar. the name of the airship guy in Final Fantasy 12 Okay. Uh, not much else in here. We'll go see the Blackbird. They they should have a railing here. This looks dangerous.
Okay, that was strange. Um, cave. Yeah, I'm still interested to see what time period this is exactly. But I, I think it's going to be, you know, something. Uh, 2000 BC, but oh, this is okay. Her current palace is here, and her new palace is underwater. Right, I guess she would have to have a, a current palace while the other one's under construction. Uh, okay. So now, I'm guessing I have to sneak up on these guys. Balthazar is a, a fellow time traveler, I'm guessing. Malkior is still alive. Oh, ha, it's Masamune.
Okay. This looks like it's going to be a boss. Alright, I guess we go and see the queen now. Ah, uh, okay. I bet we, uh... I bet Magus is Danis. He's going to join our party. We'll get that pendant and it'll or Marl's pendant uh, will recharge it or something, and then he can use it to open the uh, black uh, chests and doors and stuff. Okay. Are we going, we're going to go use it on the Mammon Machine. Uh, they don't have descriptions, so I just wondered if it, you know, if the description changed or, uh, you know, its name changed to like charge dependent or something. It's hard. It's like there's almost no point in healing, because he either reduces your HP by half, or he flat out kills you with that.
Alright, I yeah, I really hope he's uh, finished soon. Okay, yeah, I was, I was worried there, because if Isle is the only one left, then we're screwed, because uh, she can't revive or heal anyone. I hope we get to the end of time soon, because I uh, want to uh, get Frog and maybe Isla their magic. I'm not sure if Isla can or not, but... Uh, plus now I can run around and open all those doors and chests and stuff. Okay, uh, I guess that's going to be it for today, um, hopefully back a uh, day or two, finish more. Uh, looks like at this rate, maybe two or three more days and I should be able to finish it, hopefully. Alright, 